Happy Wednesday, y'all. We are almost halfway, halfway there. there. There you go. All right, Jess, the story's for you here. <laughs> are you feeling some pumpkin spice burnout this year? Well, you're not the only one. A new survey from the from Fire Department Coffee found that 37% of Americans say they're tired of hearing about pumpkin spice. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> if you're one of those people, it might be best to keep those thoughts to yourself. Because the survey also found that 10% of Americans would actually consider breaking up with a partner if their feelings about pumpkin spice differ. That's extreme. All right, Jess. I think so that's my extreme. Boyfriend is Greek and he's never even heard of pumpkin spice <gasps> until I introduced oh, it to really? him. And he keeps calling it spice pumpkin. It's so <laughs> adorable. He can't word it right. But um, did he like it? He loves it. Mm. So oh, okay. well, he's not breaking up with me for that at least. Okay. You are not breaking <laughs> up with good. him either. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I mean, clearly people have other issues in their relationship, uh -huh. but pumpkin, pumpkin spice is the deciding That's a factor. Really interesting observation they made though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very it's timely. Interesting. There you go. We're the fall season. <laughs> All right, well, we gotta talk about John Legend now. He he is returning to Sin City to perform the final shows of his Love in Las Vegas concert experience. Love his voice. Love in Las Vegas is a beautifully intimate concert experience showcasing John Legend's greatest hits. The 12-time Grammy Award winner will perform at Planet Hollywood starting October 14th. Tickets are still available online. And I'm mad at myself for not going. Mm -hmm. It looks cool. Yeah. yeah. He started his residency there in Vegas, I believe, April of this year. Wow. And in 2018, he reached that EGOT status. Wow. What's First, that? Uh, Emmy, mm -hmm. Grammy, Oscar. yeah, those. Yeah. <laughs> First black male to get it. That's oh. amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. His talented. voice is so melodious, it's though. So Timeless. Yeah. Timeless. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of great music, the nominations for the 2022 Latin Grammys have been announced with Bad Bunny as the top nominee. <laughs> All right, well, Bad Bunny led the pack with 10 nominations, including Album of the Year for Un Verano Sin Ti. That's hardly a surprise for the Puerto Rican sensation, but other top nominees include Raul Alejandro and Rosalia, who both have eight, no eight nominations. The 23rd annual Latin Grammys will be November 17th in Las Vegas. I cannot wait. Well, yeah, why am I not surprised that you started with Bad Bunny? Listen, she's me. a super fan. That was me, yeah. Mega no, fan. Super listen, fan. He, he's topping the nominations. Uh -huh. That's not... You're not allowed to <laughs> It was him, huh? <laughs> yes. that's, all, that's all him. Yes, but it's also interesting because you also saw nominations with um, Rosalia and the song with The Weeknd. Mm. So you all, you, you're all seeing those collaborations also yeah. getting nominations. So that's just really cool. And the fact that Latin artists also topped Spotify's list this summer. Yeah. So we have to talk about it. Of course yeah. we have to. Of course. That's fair. That's fitting. <laughs>